Hello everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're going to make this sort of a card and what we're going to be using is a new product by Couture Creations called Winkles. These are just beautiful inks that have an amazing sparkle to them and um, I will show you how they all work and how to do what I have done here. So, I have used some of these stamps and die sets to make this card and I have then stamped them onto a card using some I have done with um, just normal like the uh, black ink and others I have done with an embossing powder, a white embossing powder and then we colour them in and cut them out. So let me show you how I have done these and a handy way to die cut things out that are already coloured in and I'll show you that in a moment. So to start off with, I've already started a little bit, um, I'm just using pencils, um, preferably not watercolour pencils with these because we're going to add the inks to them to give them the sparkle so you don't really want a watercolour pencil. You can do it, but it'll give a completely different effect. So I've just finished colouring that one in. And then what I'm going to do, so with the winkles, these are just being released. So there's 12 different colours. And in the not too distant future, there's going to be another 12 colours released. So you can buy them either individually or you can buy them so that you've got the carry case to put them in as well. So they're beautiful colours. And I'll show you first how to activate them. So when you get them, I'll just get it out of the packet. You'll see that they have this ring around here. So we're going to take the lid off remove that ring and throw it in the bin because you don't need it again then pop it together and you'll hear it click let me see if you can hear it oh there you go I don't know whether you heard that click and that's actually pierced the um, where the brush is so that the paint or the ink sorry can now go through so I'm going to give it a shake and you can hear the little beads in there mixing everything together. And then to activate it, you'll see written on the side here, there's got little push written on there. Very gently push those two spots until you see the ink coming out like that. Now, when you do it for the first time, you'll get a fairly big blob, but after that, it won't come out so quick. So I'm just going to wipe off a bit of the excess. So from there, you can colour in. This particular one is a clear. So I'm going to go over this leaf with this clear colour. I'll use up the ink that I've squirted out. And what it will do is give that a beautiful shimmery shine. So it's a great way to add shimmer and glitter without the messy glitter. So hopefully you can see that. Hopefully the camera is picking that up, all the shine on that. Now another way you can use these. So I'm going to get this one. So this is red. I'll give it a shake. And if you want to, you can put a little squirt. Just squeeze it gently until you get a drop and a little bit goes a long way. There we go. Just a little drop, that's all you need. And then I'm going to spritz that with some water. And what that will do is make it lighter. So if I've got a scrap of card here and I'll show you what I mean. 
I did have a scrap of card here. Where did I put it? <laughs> here it is. So without adding water to it, you will get a fairly deepish sort of colour. So now what I've done is added the water and I'm now going to paint that over what I've coloured in with the pencil. And that will now give it that shimmer and another coat over the top of what's already there. So I'll just colour that in. Now, obviously, if you don't want it this light, you add less water. So the more water you add, the lighter it will get. There we go. So that's now done that. Clean that brush off. If you wanted to, another thing you could do, I'll use the same colour. Oh, actually, no, I'll use a different colour. This time I'll go for, I'll just mop that up. This time I'll use, this, and this is called gold, so we'll give it a shake. And what I'm going to do is just shade some of the spots directly from the pen so that I'm going to have darker pieces every now and then, like shadowing. Just do a few of those, like so. Uh, put some in the centre. Another one there. The beauty of um, the embossing, it gives you lines to work in. So you can see there I've used white embossing powder. On this one, I stamped it using the black. So you can use either or. And there's one I've done using black embossing powder. So you can use whatever you like to stamp them with. Okay, so now I'm going to put a drip of my gold on here. Oh, whoops, I squeezed that too hard. <laughs> That's what happens when you squeeze too hard. <laughs> didn't need to do that never mind now I'm going to spritz it with water and I'm going to make it a lighter gold to color in the rest of the flower um, I'm gonna say one drip is enough a little bit goes a long way with these winkles I'll just finish colouring this one in. So you can do so much. Look, like anything like these, you're unlimited by your imagination. But the glitter in these and the shine is just amazing. I'm hoping the camera will pick it up so you can see it. So you'll have to find a stockist near you. Um, I think they shouldn't be too far off being in the shops now. There we go. So there you can see there how you've got the variation of colours and different shading. And that shine on there is just beautiful. So I've actually got another leaf down here. I might just colour the leaf in with this as well. So while I'm doing this, I'll just let you know that I do have a couple of Facebook groups. One's called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. The other is called Barossa Valley Crafts. So I will add the links in the description. If you'd like to join, you're more than welcome. Just answer the question to be able to join. And there you go. So now I'm going to show you a great way to line these up to cut them out. So what I've done, I cut out one just from a bit of blank card and I'm going to sit that over this 
So that way, when I place my die there, I will know exactly where it's going to cut. So I'll just pop that there. Just put a little bit of washi tape there to stop it from moving. And then I will get the die. So this set has got dies and stamps in it. So I'll just grab the die out. Oh, that's a slippery. And that will then lock into that previous cut one. Bring over my go cut and emboss machine. Lay that on there. And wind that through. Get it into place. There we go. cut out of the stamped image so how's that very easy way to make sure you get things lined up a lot of people ask should you stamp color and cut or stamp cut and color well, I prefer to cut last so I'll just grab the rose one and I'll do it again to show you how it works. Oops, just throw things around first. And I'll get the die. So there's one that I've just cut out of plain paper. Now we'll just line this up. So it's got to sit in there like so. Add the tape so it doesn't move. Pop the die in. And you'll feel once you've got it in the right spot, it, it won't move, it'll lock into place. And I think I just moved it when I was moving that. Hang on, let me just pop it into place again. Uh, There we go, that's locked into place. Except I keep moving it. <laughs> Try again. Here we go. And wind it through. Have another perfect cut out so doing that little stencil I guess makes a big difference to get things cut out in exactly the right spot where you want it done I'll right, we'll just pop those away and we'll get that out of the way so with these winkles I'll just bring them in again so I'll use the orange because it's nice and bright. I'm just going to give it a shake. So they've got a really fine tip on them. So you can do really fine work. And the more you press, the bigger the impression you can get with the ink. So you can colour in a little area or you can do a bigger area. So just by the different pressures. So there's, like I said, there's 12 colours there. And you can get a colour chart like this so you can see exactly how the colours look. But they're beautiful. I love them. Okay, so now let's put this card together. So what I've done is I've cut out a few different ones. And I've got some cardstock here, so I'm going to glue this mirror card onto my card base. Now I'm doing a 6x6 six six card here, but you can do any size you like. And I'll just get my glue flowing. 
here we go. Just pop some glue on there. So I'm just using a Couture Creations All Purpose Art Glue. And I'll pop that onto the base card. Oh, must have ink on my fingers. I've just put it on the card. And then from the Lavender Love collection, I'm going to pop this one over the top. So I'll just remove some of that and line it up into place. So I'm using double-sided adhesive on the mirror card because the mirror card's non-porous. If you use glue, when it dries, it will pop off. So double-sided tape on the top of mirror card. So just remove the backing paper from that. There we go. And now we're going to work out where to put the flowers. So, I've already pre-done these earlier, as you can see. They've already painted and glittered and cut out and ready to go. So, let's see. We'll use pink one. And that one there. So, I think they're roses. And I think that's a dahlia. down there we'll use that one we just did that's a nice pretty one Shoot, maybe this is the hardest part I'm <laughs> working out what's going to go where now I've got the butterfly under there I probably don't want to cover the butterfly on that paper That's probably enough. And then I'll add some leaves in a moment. So to start off with, I'm going to just pop some of them down so they're flat onto the cardstock. Just give it a press. Really are pretty inks. Okay. And... Now I'm going to add some dimension. I'll pop that one about there. You can, if you want to, use double-sided tape when you're putting these down. But the glue's a bit quicker in some sometimes. So now I'm going to use some foam adhesive to put these flowers on. So I'll just pop a couple on there, take the backing tape off, and then just place them where you want them. Um, I'll go down here. Now I'm going to have that overlapping there, so I'll need to pop a little bit of glue on there. So it'll stick on to that. Then we'll pop this last one on here. So you don't have to add the dimension foam tape. It just gives the card a bit of dimension and lifts it off the page. You can just stick them all flat, especially if you're posting something overseas or posting in general, really. It just makes it a bit thinner if it's all flat on the card. Now, I've got some leaves here, so I'm just going to place them around a bit, attach those. And you just play around until you've got the effect that you want. And I'll put this one on. This one under here. There we go. 
So I haven't stuck it down all the way, just part of it. So it's still got that little bit of dimension to it. And then I've got this. So that comes with, um, it's another Couture Creation stamp and die set with some different greetings on it. So I've just stamped and cut one of those out. And I'm going to pop that onto here. So I've got some other foam tape here that's in a strip. I'm just going to pop that onto the back of this. Be a nice Mother's Day card with all the flowers. But they can be for anything you like, just to suit whatever occasion you like. Um, my Winkles, um, I get my products from um, Image Plus Scrapbook Superstore in Tassie. I will add the link in the description, but other than that, you'll just need to find a stockist near you for these products. I'll just work out where I'm going to put that. Actually, I might just... Up there in the middle. And here we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do give me the thumbs up and do subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I have more tutorials come up. Um, I'll just pop the glue, uh, the pin in my glue. I'm actually going to put some colour on this one. Um, Colour will I use? I want to push this one. This so this is bronze. I'm just going to colour this in a little bit, just to give it a little bit of shimmer and a bit of colour instead of just being plain white. Let's give it a bit of a shake. Here we go. Here we go. It's got a bit of shine on it too. And that's it. So Winkles, very effective, very shiny, and lots of fun. And that's the packet. So again, you can get 12 now, and there's another 12 on the way soon. And you can also buy the box to store them in as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please do give me the thumbs up. And uh, hopefully we'll join you or see you in the Facebook group. And thank you for joining me. Bye.